A big issue on the ballot for a lot of you is school board elections. Local school boards in Colorado have been in the spotlight this past year amid debates over COVID restrictions and other issues. And another reason to care more than ever, a new state law means board members can now be paid for their service. Last week, Aurora Public Schools was on track to become the first district in the state to pass a resolution outlining compensation for board members. It would be $150 a day for board related activities up to three days per month. Only new board members would be eligible. Sitting board members cannot vote to pay themselves. The APS school board had hoped to pass something that would apply to the four incoming board members after next week's election. But because of a lack of community input, the board decided to postpone a final vote on the resolution. We're setting the precedent for community feedback and community engagement, and we really want that. And so instead of our board trying to hurry up and pass this resolution before um, the new board members are sworn in or elected, it, it just didn't feel right. Kyla Armstrong Romero, the president of the APS board, is not seeking re-election. Denver's Board of Education has also discussed plans to compensate future board members under the new state law, but Denver would have to vote on a resolution before next week for it to take effect for the next school board.